you've heard people say, some people see the glass half empty, some people see the glass half full. I couldn't see the glass. There was no glass. It was utter hopelessness, utter darkness, utter despair, and I thought I was always going to feel that way. I weighed 20 pounds less than I weigh right now. I was under the care of a psychiatrist. I was taking medications for it, but I just, wrong medications, wrong therapy, it wasn't the right thing for me. And at the end of my rope, on a beautiful fall day, it wasn't raining or cold, it was a beautiful, sunny fall day in my own living room. I took 31 Ambien. And God only knows what all else, because after I took those, Jesus. there were empty pill bottles all over the place. All I wanted to do, and my co-writer, Dr. Mike Marino, I must credit, wonderful Christian man, PhD in counseling. And he put it like this, he says, nobody really wants to kill themselves. They just want to stop the pain. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, I just want to go to sleep and not wake up anymore. And that's basically what I was saying. Jesus. I just want to stop the pain because this darkness and this hole and this utter hopelessness had just consumed me. With my a loving husband begging me to eat, bless his heart, Tim was afraid to go to work in the mornings. He didn't want to leave me by myself. My parents lived right across the street. I was doing everything I knew to do. And yet it's like when a person has cancer, they have to go get the tumor removed. They have to sometimes have radiation therapy or chemotherapy. My husband's a two-time cancer survivor. You know, we applaud that. Or if you say I'm a heart attack survivor, we applaud that. But if you say I'm a suicide survivor, people are kind of like, oh, maybe not so much. And I want it to be that voice or that face to destigmatize this. Depression is a disease, and thank God it is a treatable disease. I have a Christian psychiatrist, I'm on the right medications. And y'all, this is as sane as I'm ever going to be. <laughs> so you're stuck with it, you know. But I want to just say, if there is one person listening out there today, if you were where I was on November the 19th of 2008, every day is not going to feel like that. You think it is, but it is not. I am sitting here today by God's amazing grace. He snatched me from the clutches of death if for no other reason to say to one person listening out there today, there's hope, there's help, there's healing, and there's life after depression.